Hello and welcome back. In this video, we're going to be trying to answer the question or at least explore the topic, where did King Ghidorah come from? In the 2019 Godzilla sequel to the 2014 Godzilla reboot for the MonsterVerse Legendary, we get to see the new villainous kaiju King Ghidorah, or Ghidorah as he's called. We didn't think they were going to go with the original origin of him coming from space, but later on in the movie, it is revealed that he in fact does come from space. But where? Space is a vast medium. So our solar system isn't the only collection of bodies that we have in space. We have star systems to other solar systems to whole galaxies, millions of them. Just think about the vastness of space for a while. Our galaxy is made up of 100 billion planets. In our Milky Way galaxy alone, that is the estimate. And those are just planets. We're not talking about all the other celestial bodies like stars and, and moons. We're just talking about freaking planets alone. And on top of that, think about this. There are said to be 100 billion galaxies that probably have the same amount of planets and more celestial bodies. So, wow, that is a lot. Now, to delve deeper into this question, we always have to ask more questions, and that's what's so fun about doing topics like these. We'd have to ask, what planet is Ghidorah from? Is he actually from a planet? Can he actually die? Because in the movie, we see him grow back a head, and then at the post credit scene, we see a head still there, so is he like those flatworms where no matter how many times you try to cut them up into pieces, it makes a new one? We don't know anything about that. And if he was close in another celestial body within our solar system, wouldn't we have found out about it? But no, we wouldn't have because he was frozen in the ice. Remember, the movie starts off with him being frozen in the ice. Maybe he's even older than Godzilla is because it mentions that Godzilla is an ancient species who lived around the Permian era, and Ghidorah was possibly there way before. So we wouldn't have known anything about him to begin with. In his original origin stories, it says that he was from Venus. He was initially said to have come from outer space, and he was the ancient evil responsible for destroying many planets, including Venus, where some thought that he was from. And in the US version of Ghidorah, the three-headed mo monster, he was said to have originated from Mars, I believe. That's very close to home. But then we have to also ask, how would he even get here? He doesn't need, clearly, to breathe oxygen, because if he can survive the vacuum of space, then I can imagine that this monster just goes around from planet to planet, and if he does it consciously, how does he propel himself through space? There is no air in space, so him flapping his wings about would do nothing, because there's no molecules or the thickness of the air to pass his wings through to propel him forward or upward. The only way that he would be propelled through space to go where he needs to go is if he was pushed, if there was an explosion on a planet that propelled him towards something, or if he wants to do that consciousness, uh, consciously, he would have to uh, <clears throat> emit gas, like, you know, like a, a rocket. This sounds hilarious, but with most animals, they would not survive the vacuum of space, but Ghidorah can. The other question that is raised from this, so many questions, is Ghidorah has this unique ability to control other kaiju. It's very interesting because he doesn't control other creatures on our planet, even though it's said that the kaiju do influence the environment around them, but he controls the other kaiju. That's where they seem to be going with this movie. I will suspend disbelief because in the first 2014 Godzilla movie, I had an issue with the Muto being one of the kaiju bowing down before Godzilla at the end because in the first movie, they didn't and he was the alpha, so what happened there? Even if they were breeding, that shouldn't have been an issue because they would have listened to him from the first place. But whatever, maybe we can find an explanation for that. Let's just say that this is the first movie, uh, the 2019 movie is the first movie, and Godzilla and Ghidorah can talk to the other kaiju despite what species they are. I also did a video about that recently, about whether or not the kaiju can understand each other. So go check that out for that theory. Now I'm going somewhere with this. If Ghidorah can control these animals, then that must mean that he had this power wherever it was he came from, and there were other animals or kaiju like him to control there. Because, and hear me out, if that's not the case and he just has the ability to control things, 
through a certain frequency, then why would it only affect the kaiju and not affect dogs and whales and everything else? As an alien species, having the ability to control all the life forms around him, wouldn't they also fall into that influence? This seems to be a kaiju-specific thing, and we have to also think that Ghidorah at some point started out Maybe as a small baby thing, maybe as a previous creature, maybe there were others like him, but he developed this ability. And he had to have done that if the other kaiju had something in common with him. He wouldn't just come to Earth having that ability to just affect kaiju if he didn't use that ability on kaiju before. Which would mean that there are kaiju somewhere else in outer space on other planets, not just on Earth. Which is really interesting. And we know that this is the case, and it's most likely the case, because Ghidorah himself comes from outer space. So if Ghidorah is a monster that comes from outer space, then that only stands to mean that there are other kaiju in outer space as well. This opens up a lot of possibilities. Now, because we have kaiju on Earth, this could mean that there are other planets like Earth, or maybe other planets that are completely different than Earth, that have kaiju on them as well. These kaiju all respond to a certain frequency. Now, here's what's most interesting. If Ghidorah comes from outer space, and there are stories and legends of him having done so, what does this mean for the other kaiju? Where do they come from? Is it possible that Godzilla and the other kaiju could have originated from other planets as well and ended up here? Near the end of the movie, they seem to suggest that the kaiju are responsible for the natural order, for the fish living, for plants growing. So in a weird sense, the kaiju could be an alien life force terraforming Earth. They could have come here, and for all we know, Earth and life as we know it could have started off because the kaiju made it so. And each and every one of them were responsible for a specific part of the Earth's ecosystems. For all we know, they could have been responsible for our existence as well. Now, this would also um, raise another question. Why would Ghidorah want to destroy Earth? Is it possible that Ghidorah is a judge, jury, and executioner, and he realized that they failed this planet and the kaiju let the planet go to all hell, so Ghidorah was coming to course correct it? What if the kaiju started off as alien life forms and only adapted and changed and evolved to look like the creatures of Earth to blend in later with other creatures that would come about? Mothra is an example of this. She's basically a magical psychic being that just happens to look like a moth. What if that's just the persona or the body type that she chose? For all we know, Godzilla and the other kaiju started off looking like frickin' Daleks from Doctor Who. And then they changed every now and then to suit the life that was already cropping up on this planet so they could blend in. Godzilla probably started out looking like something completely different and then evolved later on to look like dinosaurs and whatever else. And we know that this is a possibility because he changes his physical appearance throughout the movie. 2014 to 2019, we can see the differences in Godzilla's dorsal fins. Of course, there are other theories that I had on why this is, possibly. But if he can change the way his dorsal fins look, make himself bigger, or evolve in such a way to suit his environment the way he sees fit, then it's totally possible that he and the other kaiju might have the ability, innate ability, maybe because of the alien life forms that they are, to look like however they want to look. One thing is for sure, the kaiju are not like anything else we have on this planet, and they seem to, in many cases, exist out of the natural realm of things. So, as to answer the question of where did Ghidorah come from, he probably came from a land far away, but honestly, it could be even deeper than that. It is possible that Ghidorah, and most likely the other kaiju, came from another dimension. I know that sounds weird and it sounds far-fetched, but they did explore this in the anime. In Godzilla, the anime trilogy that we saw on Netflix, Ghidorah is described as being an energy-based being originating from a mysterious other dimension. According to the director, Ghidorah is the result of an evolutionary path where life discarded its physical body and evolved into a form of pure energy. It is also said that he's a monstrous entity that takes the form of a golden three-headed dragon, and he inhabits the void between dimensions. Ghidorah has used supergravity to consume countless worlds through the millennia. 
And then 100,000 years ago, Ghidorah supposedly destroyed the planet Exifkalus, while the surviving members of the Exif race, the people that look like elves and uh, Memphis, he was the character uh, who was an Exif as well, took to the stars so they could find a new home, a new celestial body to call their home and to appease their god. And with each new world the Exif found and converted their faith, Ghidorah was fed a new planet. So in that anime, they kind of explored Ghidorah being even more powerful, and I think it kind of stems from that. And what, from what we see in Godzilla King of the Monsters, Ghidorah isn't really shown in the light that he should be. I don't think we've even scratched the surface of Ghidorah, honestly. I think this is not the last we've seen on, of him, and this is not the last that we're going to be learning more about him as well. There is something, there's so much more to this creature than I think that they showed us in this movie, which is what makes it pretty exciting. Also, we know that these creatures aren't normal because even though they're different species, them all crawling to Godzilla and bowing before him at the end, that, that language that they speak, that is all something that they speak together. And I did mention in one of the other videos that they could understand each other because they understand how to read their body language, but after seeing 2019, it's something deeper. There's a common language and every single one of these specific kaiju understand that no other animal, despite whether they look like them or not, can understand. So the only way that, that would make sense is if they're all the same creature. At the core, even though they all look different, just like the kaiju in Pacific Rim, they all speak the same language, but just are wearing different avatars or skins. That is enthralling, but it's also pretty terrifying when you think about it. So not only do people have to worry about kaiju waking up all over the Earth, but we have to now be concerned with other creatures like Ghidorah that come from outer space, because the chances are the kaiju that are already here, whether they are benevolent or male malevolent, they are not from here. It is also possible they seeded life on this planet as well, but that's a whole other video. We're gonna explore this some more with upcoming videos. This is so exciting, and I know that we still have to wait. Well, we don't really have that much to wait because 2019 is almost over. We're near the middle of it, and Kong vs. Godzilla comes out in 2020. So we don't have that much longer to wait, but we can talk about all the hypothetical scenarios um, in between that time. But what do you guys think? Where do you think Ghidorah came from? Do you think he has more in common with the anime version of Ghidorah and he actually possibly comes from another dimension? And do you think the kaiju also come from outer space and they just assumed these bodies and then bred throughout the years, but the descendants of those kaiju don't really even know what their original ancestry was. That's really, that's really interesting to me. I'm really interested to, to figure this out. And, and like during this video, um, I, more of those questions just started popping up in my head and it's just really freaking exciting, oh my gosh. But let us know in the comments, guys, what you think and thanks so much for watching. This has been Ultiori, you ask, we answer.